For centuries, the river Ganga has been the focus of devotion for Indians, refining and purifying all that came into contact with its waters. But now the Ganga evokes as much environmental concern as religious fervor because many factors have contributed to its pollution. One of them has been the leather industry of Kanpur in the state of Uttar Pradesh. There are about 175 tanneries in the Jajmao area of Kanpur, which generate nearly 8 million litres of tannery waste every day. Pollution of the Ganga was not a threat, but a reality here. The tanneries were faced with closure through Supreme Court orders, in spite of there being a vital foreign exchange earner. Nearly every process in the leather industry has environmental implications. Various chemicals like sodium chloride, sulphides and chromium salts are used to preserve and clean animal skins. Almost 300 metric tons of hides are produced in the Jajmao area of Kanpur alone and the wastewater has a concentration of toxic elements which are one to two thousand times higher than acceptable limits. The non-viability of individual treatment plants was a major problem, so it was decided to set up a combined effluent treatment plant for this area. The tannery wastewater is collected at three different centers and brought into the main plant for treatment along with domestic sewage water. The tannery wastewater and domestic sewage water is combined in fixed proportions and fed into the digestion chambers, which use bacteria to treat effluents. The clean, treated water flows out from the top while the toxic salts get trapped in the slurry. The bacterial activity also generates biogas, which will fuel three gas generators and produce about 360 kilowatts of electricity for running the effluent treatment plant. After treatment, the water is now channeled for irrigation into 2,000 hectares of sewage farmland, thus preventing the wastewater from flowing back into the Ganga. But a major factor still remains, the levels of toxic chromium that get discharged in the wastewater. Only some units have set up plants to be able to recover and reuse the waste chromium. Most tanneries are still hesitant to invest the initial capital. Motivational campaigns and economically viable action plans based on R&D are imperative to eliminate this critical hurdle and make the leather industry truly environment friendly. Thank you.